Good morning from your NPHS TNT crew. I am Gavin Dethrow. And I am Fernando Monroy. These are your announcements for Friday, September 18th. Please stand for the pledges to the American and Texas flag. for the announcement. Seniors, October 3rd will be the day to paint your parking place. Hours will be announced soon. UBO. UBO United by One Bible study meetings are on Thursday during first lunch in Coach Wood's classroom, room 221, and second lunch in Miss Craig's room, room 301. NHS. Current NHS seniors, please check the NHS board in Miss Wilkins room for the new Remind 101 instructions. You will be need you will need to sign up again to receive this year's messages. Service hour opportunities are coming up quickly and several organizations are seeking volunteers. Also, mark your calendars for our first meeting on Thursday, October 1st. If you're not already an NHS member, information on how to induct it into a National Honor Society will be coming soon. All School Boy and Girl. Congratulations to seniors Chase Beasley and Cassidy Russell on being named All School, All School Boy and Girl by the faculty and staff. Home Homecoming. Next week is homecoming week. TNT reporter Tyler Turner interviewed cheerleader coach the Tom Broach about the upcoming week. Hey guys, it's Tyler here with TNT News and I'm here with Mrs. Broach and we're going to ask her some questions. So what are the homecoming dress up days? We've got homecoming coming up next week and so we're going to dress up all week long to show our school spirit and support our Tigers. So on Monday, it is going to be support your sport and you're going to wear like your favorite sports attire. So if you love baseball, wear something related to baseball. Love soccer, wear something related to soccer. That sort of thing. On Tuesday, it's going to be superhero day. So come dress as your favorite superhero. Wednesday is school the lions. So wear, support your favorite college. Um, wear your favorite college shirt. On Thursday, it's MPHS, where dreams come true. So we're having Disney Day, so dress as your favorite Disney character. And then, as always, on Fridays, it's black and gold. Let's take the whole, scout, uh, the whole school out in black and gold and show your support for our Tigers. And what about the homecoming dance and the prices? All right, we're having a homecoming dance after the homecoming game on Friday the 25th. Um, it's going to immediately follow the game um, and go until midnight in the MPHS cafeteria. We're going to have a DJ. We've got lights, dancing. Um, we're going to have a photo booth set up for pictures. Um, pizza's going to be there, lemonade, that sort of stuff. So um, it's $3 per person if you get your ticket in advance, or you can pay $5 at the door. And all of the cheerleaders and myself and Ms. Harmon have tickets to sell. So come and see us. It's going to be a good time. Some of you have like this, oh, a homecoming dance, but no. <laughs> You're going to miss out if you're not there. Everybody's going to be talking about it the next week, so be there. And how did the cheerleaders do at camp? We went to UCA camp this summer at Great Wolf Lodge. We took the JV squad and the varsity squads, and um, they did great. Uh, superior ribbons on evaluations. Um, our mascot, Mia Peoples, our tiger, she won the most improved mascot award of the entire camp. Our JV squad also won the most improved JV squad of the entire camp. And then they walked away with grand champions and a second place trophy in their competition. And then our varsity walked away with the first and second place trophy um, in their competition. So great, great job. So proud of the cheerleaders and all they've accomplished. And I know it's going to be a great year. So. Okay, thanks, Ms. Broach. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> CTSO kickoff. TNT reporter Colton Guest spoke with CT and cosmetology teacher Alicia Rivera Palomino about the upcoming rally being held downtown from 6 to 8, Monday night in conjunction with the Tiger Fest. Alright. Alright, I'm here with Alicia Palomino. Alright. And uh, tell us about the CTSO kickoff Monday night. Well, the CTSO kickoff, um, what it is is that each fall the CTSO um, department host a action-packed CTSO and what that allows is for all the organizations to come together um, and actually show the students what they're a part of, you know, what they can be a part of. This year we're actually going to be having it downtown 
um, at the community rally and it's going to be Monday the 21st from 6 to 8 o'clock. We would really love for you guys to come down and we'd like to introduce you to all of our, our organizations. We're going to have a lot of things going on. You're going to be able to come down, visit um, all the booths. They're going to be able to get a ticket and when you go and visit um, each booth you'll get a, get it, uh, a signature. And then what we're going to do on Tuesday morning, you're, we're going to have the NTHS booth set up. You're going to take your ticket there, and then um, we're going to collect all of those. We're going to come back Tuesday morning, and we're going to do raffle. Uh, and, uh, what groups will be participating? Okay, we have um, FBLA, we have Skills USA, HOSA, FFA, um, TPSA, and FCCLA. All right, and what are some of the things that are going to be taking place? Uh, on that day, we're going to be like. Of course, we're cosmetology, but so down there, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing manicures. We're probably doing uh, massages. Um, I know that hosts will be doing uh, blood pressure. They'll be checking blood pressures. Um, we are going to have a nacho bar, which is going to be um, through um, FCCLA, and you're going to be able to go through there and you know buy nachos. You're going to be able. To, I think they're going to be doing a. Um, oh, they're going to be doing something else cooking down there too. Um, I know that FFA is going to have products all lined up, and then on top of that, you know, we also have pep rally. Oh yeah. <laughs> the pep rally. We also have the pep rally. So you know, I think it's going to be awesome and fun, and so everybody needs to come, take part. All right, I'm Colton Gaston. If you can Monday night, head on down to the downtown downtown square. It's going to be on Monday the 21st from six to eight. So see you guys there. All right, back to the studio. Sports, the Lady Tigers volleyball team is at home tonight at 4.30 against Marshall. On Saturday, the cross-country team will compete at Pine Tree. The football team is off this week and returns to action next Friday when they host Greenville in the homecoming game. One of the newest sports is the fishing team. The recently competed in their first tournament, TNT reporter Chandler Curry interviewed Gavin, Deathrow, and Colton about the team. This is Chandler with TNT and I'm interviewing Colton Guest and Gavin Deathrow of the fishing team. So tell us about the fishing team and your positions. Well, I'm the president of the fishing team. And I'm the secretary. And the fishing team, we're our first, this is our first year to have a fishing team. And we just got uh, finished with our first tournament this weekend. At Lake Palestine. So how did the team do personally with the tournament? Uh, our best team weighed in, I think, at 6'5". But the overall winner was 17. It wasn't from Mount Pleasant. So what are the challenges you Challenges you face in fishing? Um, mostly the weather. It can be cold, uh, the water temperatures, wind, just little things like, like that. You think you have something like the day before and then change it the next day. What tournaments do you have coming up? Our next tournament is October the 3rd at Lake of the Pines. And then we don't have another tournament until February, which is at Martin Creek. And then after that, it's Lake Tyler in March, and then Bob Sandlin in April. All right, well, that's it. Thank you. The fishing team. Back to the studio. Finally, reporter Colton Guest took a campus walk and interviewed culinary students. Thank you for your attention. And have an awesome weekend, weekend. boy! Right. <laughs> Thank you. What is that video? Uh, I have uh, pineapple and blueberry. Tortilla with egg. With eggs? Yes. Are you going to eat that? or? Yes, but I'm still waiting on my other group to finish. Oh, alright. A group project? Yeah, it was kind of like a group team thing. Alright, is everybody cooking the same thing? or? No, it was just kind of, we had like a couple of minutes to get to make it. We won and, the first challenge. So, but like they have other stuff, but we decided to cook this. Alright, let's go down here and see what they're making. Alright, what are y'all making? <laughs> We're making like the uh, pineapple and blueberry. Uh, uh, pineapple, blueberry. Yeah. That's yeah. it. Really? Yeah. Just a little bit of mixing stuff together. Uh, All right. Right. They're doing something interesting down here. Looks like some pancake mix or something. Tortilla. All right, GG. What do y'all like here? Um, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> We're making some pancakes, I guess. Some pancakes. Or something like that. All right, looks pretty good. I mean, do y'all want to try this? They made scrambled good. eggs. Chef and pineapple. Yeah, we made a uh, scrambled okay. eggs. You know, it has some okay. pineapple with some tomato inside, sauce, flavor. Yeah, I'll try it. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. I wrote it.
No, you won't die. Okay. You gotta get some eggs though. It doesn't look like you didn't get no eggs. Pretty good. Yeah, so you know what I'm saying? Y'all should come try this.